Hello and welcome. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. It's always a delight to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwam on the show tonight. It's fight week, and then tomorrow will be the main fight. Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz at the week get into the ring uh, to fight for those heavyweight titles. Andy Ruiz will be looking forward to beating Anthony Joshua to keep the belt. Joshua says, all I've got on my mind is Ruiz. Whenever I see him with my belts, I just want to beat him and get those belts back. So it's a big night tomorrow in heavyweight boxing. We are looking forward to that one. The way it has been done to Today, I'll bring you uh, the updates from that fight between Joshua and Andrew Ruiz Jr. And um, let you see the tail of the tape. What does this say? And after looking at it, um, you should be able to make analysis on the boxer that will win tomorrow night. Heavyweight boxing will get our attention on the show tonight. We'll also take a look at sports developments back here in Nigeria. Today, Nabuja, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Sunday Dari, received the national on the 19th cricket team. Remember when they made all of us so happy by qualifying for the World Cup? So the minister, the, the federation led by Professor Adam Zukwenya, he's the president by the way, he took the team and said, Minister, give them your blessing. The Under-19 Cricket World Cup will uh, take place in South Africa next year, January the 17th. It will uh, kick off and run till February the 9th. We're going to keep monitoring Nigeria's preparations uh, for that one on the show tonight. We'll continue our countdown to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, what should Nigeria do to make it a good competition? Uh, Super Falcons uh, player, she is a role model of uh, football development, women's football development in Nigeria. Asisa Toshola, she has created a platform to discover young talents and also encourage young girls to get into football. Uh, we covered that one. We'll let you uh, see some of it and hear some of the girls talk on the show tonight. Uh, this weekend, it will be football, football, and more football. It will begin with the Nigeria Professional Football League match day seven. We are monitoring that one big time. Let's see if Kano Pillars will continue this new form that they found after the return of uh, the charismatic Rabiu Ali. First, it was played. Two United, they played goalless, picked one point, left just with it. Then they traveled to Uyo to beat Aqua Starlet, uh 2-1. Uh, and that's, that's good, their first win of the season. Let's see if, if they can do more uh, on March day seven. Tomorrow in the English Premier League, football will determine whether Manchester is blue. All right, Manchester United versus Manchester City doesn't get that big in the English Premier League. So we're going to monitor that one. Also, Arsenal football fans yesterday night, it was silent and dark for the Gunners. Look, if you see an Arsenal fan, give him a hug. They need love. They need support. Arsenal, they've gone... Then about nine games now, eight games without a win. Their worst record since 1977. What's going on? And some persons are already carrying banners that says Freddie Lundberg out. Lundberg is on a rescue mission. And some fans are already saying out. What's going on with the Gunners? Gunners fans, look, I'm not going to criticize Arsenal tonight. What's the problem? How can Arsenal shine again? They have a big task on Monday, next week Monday in the English Premier League, when they travel to West Ham. Ah, uh, you know how it is with when the Hammers see, see, see Arsenal. They just, in fact, every team now, when they see Arsenal, ah, uh, it's going to be tough, I know. Uh, also in the English Premier League, it was just last night when I was about to come on the show. Everybody say, hurry up, hurry up, let's give us something to talk about. They were telling Marco Silva, pack your load, go, go, so Austin can say it on the show. It's goodbye, Marco Silva uh, of, of Everton. Duncan Ferguson, the former striker, can also action in the CAF Confederation Cup. For Nigerian teams, Aimba Football Club of Aba and Enugu Rangers are its redemption mission because they didn't start so well. They both lost their games, but it's going to be a bit difficult, not tricky, for Rangers as they travel to Almazri. But I expect Aimba to bounce back uh, with a win when they get into the CAF Confederation Cup at uh, this weekend. That's it, action packed exciting interesting tell me what are you following in our world of sports be part of the program tonight you can be part of the show i love it so much when you get involved i'm going to read messages 
on this show tonight, particularly our fans of Anthony Joshua. They love him in Shagamu. Yeah, they love him so much. Nigerians love him, but in Shagamu, no. If you say Anthony Joshua, everybody starts smiling. I want to read from fans of Anthony Joshua. What are your expectations tomorrow as it takes on Andy Ruiz in that rematch in Saudi Arabia? Talk to us on Twitter, channels and Scott Sports, Facebook, channels I think sports. Use the hashtag that you want to use because so much is going down in our world of sports. But just talk to me or just use the hashtag sports tonight and also tell me the location where you are following the show because, I mean, so much is happening in our world of sports and I know some persons in different parts of the world have got some interest and that's why they follow the show. So be part of the program. Tweet. Channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I feel sports. You can even send us an email, sports tonight at channelstv.com. All our top stories can also be viewed on our website, it's channelstv.com, and on YouTube for slash channels web. Log on to m.channelstv.com, download the Channels TV app for any of those devices that you see right there. Uh, it will help you keep up with the pace because, I mean, so much is going down in our world of sports. I, I just told you, and I look, there's football on the menu, there's boxing, there's cricket, and there's so much football on the show tonight. I know you guys, you love your football, and that's why I want to hear from everyone, particularly Look, fans of Arsenal, what is the problem? I just want to send love and light to Arsenal fans tonight. I'm not criticizing the team. I just want to know what is wrong. Brighton, at the Emirates, the Gunners. Ah, oh, come on. Let's just show love to Arsenal fans tonight. Welcome on board once again. It's post tonight on Channels Television. Alfred Okoligwe is with us in the studio. And Alfred loves Arsenal. So I'm, I'm going to show some love to Alfred tonight. Alfred could have you on the show. Are you sure? I don't know. I, I'm, an, I'm a new good in jazz fan. No, but I, do. I, I know you, you don't love Arsenal anymore. Arsenal? Uh, Which league do they play? Oh my God. Oh my God, Alfred. Alfred. I, I, mean, I mean, for people who uh, want to talk about, for me, I, I'm a bit sensitive when it comes to, you know, football and, you know, showing supportership, you know. I should say you love I'm Arsenal. just I love all the teams, especially teams that has Nigerian players in them. <laughs> true Nigerian players, not the ones that are true Nigerian players in them. I, I like them, I like them. So, so you don't love us now anymore? Arsenal. That's what I said. I didn't say you support us now. I just say I know you love us now. I love anything that plays good football. love all the teams. That play good football. <laughs> I'm very good to have you <laughs> on the show. Honest. I'm not changing. <laughs> I'm going to show so much love to us now. Fans, support us. Follow us wherever you are in the world. Let's do the show together. Welcome on board once again. Sports tonight on Channels Television. Let's go to Abuja, the nation's capital. Today, uh, the sports secretariat, um, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Sunday Diary, received the national on the 19 cricket team uh, they were led to the ministry by the president of the uh, nigeria cricket federation adams Ukwenya. they went to tell the minister look we have qualified for the under 19 cricket world cup and it is the first time nigeria alfred will be qualifying for this world cup in 100 years Cricket is um, something that is huge. If you see it on TV and the number of teams, uh, countries that play it and follow it, it just tells you that it's a sport that has a life of its own. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is one sport that we've tried, perhaps maybe at the elite level to, to break that. Uh, it used to be a West African uh, quadrangular, it used to be Ghana and Nigeria Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. uh, in time past, uh, we know that um, elsewhere, the likes of uh, Zimbabwe and South Africa are really yeah. making headway, you know, mm -hmm. setting the tone for African cricket. Uh, the, the, what I like about this is that it's the development program. Yeah. It's not the elite level. Thank so you. there is still room for improvement. These guys to really hone their skills. Are we ready to invest in them? Do we have a viable cricket league? Do we have, yes, we have those uh, schools that they call elite schools that used to be in, in time past that used to, you know, at, uh, play the, the, the sport of cricket. Um, whether we will open the space and make it in such a way that, you know, with good funding, have programs in schools, private, public schools, so that mm. we can get enough kids into the program and, you know, uh, build, it up, uh, build it from there. We've, Cricket is one huge sport, uh, and the beauty of it is that you are not tied down to a particular team. Yeah. We see players leave their domain, go and play the IPL, the, the, the most expensive or the richest uh, cricket league, the IPL, from there. Even in the UK, they just started a new program that will debut in 2020. Already, 
cricketers from around the world coming to play all of that. And, and of course, um, it's something that is good. It's a developmental program. Mm -hmm. Thank God I've gone to see the minister. That's right. Look at it. We need mm. viable program, bringing kids, bringing youngsters yeah. to take to the sport, understand the sport, yeah. and we can, can run with it. That's the best way to land, Alfred, viable program. So they've gone to the leader of sports in Nigeria. Uh, we expect him to take a good look at them and and see long-term planning. Mm. Because if you give these 19 year olds, let's say all of them, they are 19, I give them proper, a proper 10 year plan, 10 year plan, point on this set of cricket players, the oldest will be 29. And that's still an okay age for cricket. Very, very Imagine okay. the amount of experience you would have gathered. I, I mean, uh, it's a sport that, um, unlike football, where you look at the longevity level, uh, sometimes you find out that cricketers play as late, mm -hmm. in, late into their 30s and 40s, yeah. and, and they still do very well in the sport. And uh, you know, what about cricket is the availability of the ground where you play. Mm. It's very key, it's important. Uh, because it's played and over. It, you have to understand how it works for you to get space. That's yeah. why it comes with the responsibility of having... There must be a plan. Having places, play areas, mm -hmm. where we can play this sport, where yeah. we can really yeah. do this sport. Having a program, yeah. if, if you have this program, where are we going to play, mm -hmm. play it? What kind of schools are we looking at? Are we looking at this? Modern day uh, private schools where you all will do is just the classwork. Nobody goes to the field to play. Mm -hmm. So we just have to look at it. it all comes to plan. It comes down wow. to those at the state uh, sports council level, Thank at you. the school level, Thank because you. games Thank masters you. in school. Thank so you. what programs do we have for schools? Yeah. Where are we going to get this? Yeah. Where are we going to play this? Train the trainers, train the coaches, oh, train the, uh, um, mm. uh, uh, the PE as they call them, masters. Everybody. Get everybody involved. As many people that mm. you get in yeah. at that first base level, at that low level. Level. The more we have um, our kids grow up and uh, to run with this. Um, so, so each time I'm on the show with Alfred, we always remind you guys that everyone should be involved with development. So there, let's say there are three guys from Igobi College in this team. That's a personal project of Igobi College. You need to look at them and so when they come back, make sure they still play active cricket and let them carry that momentum even into the university. Same thing if you see if any of them from uh, FGC, Janiki, any of the federal government colleges, it tells us right there that from the schools, that was there they were discovered. So we need to keep that process going. I love it so much when we talk about development. So shout out to the National Under Cricket, Under 19 Cricket Team. They are called the Junior Yellow Greens. They got us smiling earlier this year when they qualified for the World Cup. Let me give you some information that you can use about the Under 19 Cricket World Cup. Uh, it's to take place in South Africa from January the 17th and run till February the 9th. So we already have what to look forward to in 2020. January 2020 from the 17th till February the 9th. At the format, 50 overs at the host, I told you South Africa, 16 countries will be participating at the, at the under 19 Cricket World Cup and India. They are the defending champions. You see, they rule at the senior level and they're still doing a good job at the junior level. Let's still stay with developmental talks. Last week, we were celebrating Imo State and their sports festival, Quara State. They have announced that uh, the, the Quara uh, Sports Festival will take place in January 2020. So another thing to look forward to in 2020, another one for the grassroots, another one to discover young talent. Mm. And Alfred, I think we, the ministry should make this a national project that every state should be involved with the sports festival. I mean, it, it's a laudable one. Um, Ibo State have, for a long time, not done anything like that. And um, thanks that somebody who Listen. really understands, who understands what sports is all about, mm. a former uh, board member of the Nigerian Football Federation, because he was the chairman of Sports Writers Association of Nigeria, that's where Swan, you know, comes. I mean, um, uh, Fano who is That's heading right. the Imoste Sports Commission. It's it's just like building from the from the bottom up, yeah. and it's done at uh, last count. Yeah. The touch for the games have moved from local government. Awesome. 
Awesome. From local government to local government, he has extracted commitment from each local government chairman mm. that their local government is going to participate actively yes. in the sport. Now yes. that it, it has started, I mean, if you start a project like that, you can't yeah. go back. And what it does is that for people, for athletes, for talents that are somewhere hidden in one or scale place, not in yeah. the capital. Yeah. This is an opportunity for our talent to come That's out. That's what the governor and said. And the moment it comes out, you yeah. just pick it up and, and yeah. you run with it because whether you like it or not, sometimes when you say you don't have a platform for everybody to uh. you know, participate at on equal footing, you mm. get somebody who say, give me a list of uh, from the stadium there, stadium there, the mm. capital, though, your draw, no, please. No. no. That man who lives at the at the fringes yeah. who have not had that opportunity. So it creates Let's support bring out that bring person. bring that's what I I, I I like the way it's going. Yeah. Now that Imo State has announced, wow. you know that Delta, Delta mm -hmm. they do from top to even school sports, they that very, very active. So well. Quara has come on board. And, and Quara has been doing so well with discovering young talents. Let's let's mention that. So it will be very important that they have their sports festival. Keep that process going, which is what I just mentioned with cricket. Keep it going and let's see. Kwara is the home of um, youth um, national sports festival in Nigeria. You are right. You are and right. And as host, they will participate in almost all of the sports. Mm. Given their, that comparative advantage, yeah. they have a very good, when it comes to sports facility, good stadium. I'm, I'm sure no state in Nigeria, that kind of land, mm. are look, allocated for... Uh, you know, for the building of Stadium Mikwara. Yeah. No, I'm not sure because that place is huge. That's right. With everything you have, you know, in one So, in so one Alfred, I, I love it. So when I, when I got a press statement mm -hmm. about um, Quara announcing that next year they will have their sports festival, January to be precise, um, I remembered Imo. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Delta. Mm -hmm. So we know what happens in some state. A mm -hmm. governor comes and they say, they, I hear that he doesn't like sports. So... That's what the ministry needs to, there needs to be a policy. We've been shouting there must be a policy. So let's ask state governments, if you are not liking sports, how do you empower the youth in your, in your states? And sports is one way that we can do that. And that's why I want to say well done to all of these states that have embraced the initiative of having the sports festival. And let's keep it going because from your sports festival, uh, it's the way you perform you can aspire uh, towards the National Sports Festival. Let's get on uh, with our countdown to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Two thirty days to go. Two, three, zero days to go. That's how time disappears. Alfred, two, three, zero. When we started this thing, we started about, about two, six, five days to go. Now it's two, thirty days to go. Alfred, two, three, zero days to go, and there's still no peace in the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. That's, that's one sort of point that um, it has become something that is usually um, reoccurring. Um, this might feel like when it comes to our sports, uh, sometimes people come in, you expect that they will, um, they have agenda for the, you know, uh, progress of the sport. Mm. The next thing you hear is the pursuing personal Something agenda. Else. You start Something hearing else. all of these issues. My problem with the athletics, um, the problem in the athletics family is where you have majority of the members on one side, mm. and perhaps maybe the president, maybe one other person on the other side, mm. it then shows that I've been issue. There has been a golf. There has been a, a division. We have always questioned their unity. Remember, right after the, the election, it we has always been there. This ministry, this federation, no peace, no unity. They said they were fine. <laughs> They were they're doing just fine. And all of a sudden, the stories have, stories have uh, you know, started emerging. Uh, mm. The good thing about athletics is that it's, it's a, it's a performance, it's a performance-based individual. Sometimes individual, ah. yes, mm -hmm. based sports. And thank God that um, a lot of the guys that we are hoping, a lot of guys that we are hoping to, you know, our medal prospect in this, uh, a lot of them are not our bed. It goes a long way to really reassure them. The planning, because we have to prepare. What are we doing? Possibly, maybe the Ministry of Sports have um, released funds or the plans for the, that we have for the Olympics for yeah. these athletes. Yeah. Um, the leadership can sort out these problems mm. if that's the way they want to sort it out. Thank God there's a bit of stability. They, so ah. they have an accident. They, no, what I'm saying, <laughs> okay. when I say a bit of stability yeah. is that... I'll, I'll, Alfred, you explain <laughs> it to me. Think, think through it. Just pause. Let's go on this break. When we come back, we'll, we'll still look at it. At 230 days to the Olympics and no peace in the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.